Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. First of all, I want to thank you all, uh, all my subscribers, all my followers. I have just surpassed the 2000 subscribers. It means a lot to me, so thank you so much for all your support. Uh, let's get going and uh, let's get to the next uh, 1000 uh, subscribers. In this video, I'm going to build something nice again, a nice project using the laser. So we'll, go, we'll be going from this design to, let me show you, this one. It's a nice uh, Christmas uh, mailbox. Um, you can open it and hey, there's even uh, something inside. It's a letter and it's a letter from Santa Claus. So if you want to build this yourself, uh, watch till the end. I will show you all the steps needed to get to this end result. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. And then we can start with the first step is cutting the plywood to size. So I've cut the plywood to size as you can see. It will fit nicely on the honeycomb bed. Uh, for this project I will be using the Algo laser. It's the Algo DIY MK2 which I've reviewed uh, recently. It's a very nice and capable machine. It's got a great OS, it's pretty responsive. Uh, it's got a touch panel so you can operate the machine without connecting to a computer. Uh, I'm always using Liburn, I uh, prefer that. I will connect it via the, the USB-C cable. It's a 10 watt laser so I have to take it a little bit more slow than some of my other lasers. But it's only 3 millimeter plywood so it should be no problem at all. I will be cutting without the uh, enclosure on it so you can clearly see the cutting process. Uh, I will be uh, putting the exhaust pipe next to it. So hopefully this will be sufficient. Uh, if not, I will uh, add the enclosure anyway. Uh, so next up is uh, cutting all the parts and then uh, we can continue with uh, the painting afterwards and gluing everything together to get to the final result. So uh, first up, cutting all the parts. So I have reorganized all the individual parts so that I can fit as many as possible on the honeycomb bed. Honeycomb bed of this machine is 40 by 40 centimeters. So uh, I will be needing two uh, sheets of plywood for this uh, project. This one uh, yeah, will take almost all the parts and this is uh, the leftover which I cannot fit on, uh, on the honeycomb bed. It will take 37 minutes to uh, cut all these parts. I guess this will be around 10 minutes, so let's say 15 minutes in total. I've already set the speed and power. I will take uh, 350 millimeters a minute at 80% one, uh, one pass. 3 millimeter plywood, so um, should be uh, okay. So next step, uh, I will uh, cut the plywood to size and then we can uh, put it on the honeycomb bed and start uh, cutting out all the parts. So as you can see all the parts of the first plywood are uh, cut. It's a nice and clean cut except for this corner. And this is my own mistake. I made a rookie mistake and I forgot to set uh, the correct focus height. So I started cutting with these uh, stars and the door and I noticed uh, it didn't cut through. So I stopped the process and I checked it and then I found out I didn't set the focus correctly. So that's why you see this charring and also the white uh, cut lines. Uh, once I set everything correct, you can see everything is nice and clean, no charring at all, so uh, it worked out great, and this was uh, yeah, purely my own mistake. I've cut all the parts, I also cleaned up the parts which were a little bit burnt. Because of my mistake, I forgot to set the focus correctly, so these are also cleaned. Uh, I've got the design printed so I can see uh, the color scheme. Most of the parts will be uh, red, uh, let me show you up close. Uh, only these parts, these four, this one, the ring, the letters and this one will be painted white. All the other parts will be painted red. I will uh, use uh, acrylic paint again, this one, the red one and the white one of course. I will be using the foam brushes to apply the paint. 
I don't think I need to cover the table because uh, I can just paint on here. And if I spill a little bit, I can just clean it up using uh, regular water. Uh, so that's up next, uh, painting of the part. So I've painted all the parts, some of the parts like uh, for instance the door or these ones I've painted both sides, also the back side because you can look inside of the mailbox. Uh, next step is uh, gluing everything together, I will use uh, super glue for this, um, yeah and then we have another project uh, finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, I think it's a pretty fun project to do, uh, it took about 50 minutes of total cutting time, uh, it's only a two color job, so only red and white, so the paint job is pretty easy, uh, the algo laser did a good job, I had some nice and clean cuts, everything fit together perfectly, if you want to build this one yourself, I will uh, put a link in the description of this video where you can find the design, uh, it's really fun to do for yourself, maybe for friends and family, or even to sell in your store. So uh, if you want to build it, uh, you can do it yourself. Um, I think that's all for this video. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.